question. I'm making this video because there was nothing on how to replace the battery on a Honda key fob. So I'm gonna make this quick video for you guys so you guys can figure it out real quick. All right, when this is flipped over right here, you have one screw with a Phillips screwdriver. So I took out the little screw. Once that's removed, you can take a razor blade and stick it in between. I got one hand to make this video, so I can't really record it right. But you pry a razor blade right here and just pop it. It pops open after the screw is removed. Make sure you take the key link off so you can pop it open that way. Once you get that up, this is gonna be embedded like that. So this is all you really see right here. And what you're gonna do is, again, with your razor blade, pop this little section out right here. And then on the side here, there's a little tab. You put a razor blade under there and you pop that out. I'll flip it over so you can get an idea what I'm talking about. Just these little, these little tabs right here is what they are. So you put a razor blade under it and pop that off. Once the cover's off, you have your battery right there. It's not the regular 2035, I think, the standard that goes in everything. It's a different battery, which it'll say on the cover on the other side. I'll flip it over here to show you guys in a second. But if you're not getting anything at all and you were getting your buttons were working the other day, what you're going to want to do, because this is what's happening to mine, you see them little black sections? You just need to scuff that up with a razor blade. You take your razor blade, you're going to scuff it all up, and I guarantee you you're going to get contact again. It might not be a dead battery is all. And over here, you want to scuff that up. See them little markings? That happens after maybe four or five years of use, and it's just not getting contact. So I'm just going to scuff all those up, and then let's see if we get contact. Show you again. I flipped the battery over. It's a CR1616, 3 volt. Um, you can buy these at any, like, Myers, Walmart, or you can go on Amazon or eBay. It's going to be a lot cheaper. You could probably buy 10 of them for the same price you're going to pay for one. Um, but I'm going to scuff all these up because I know that's what's making my not get contact and then sometimes I get contact. So I'm going to scuff it all up to remove all that black residue that's that's uh, built up over the this years. Side, I scuffed it up on the other side really good with the razor. I also scuffed up these three prongs right here. I'll point the areas where you just want to take your razor and flick like that. And I can't do it with one hand to show you guys, but you just go like that and you scuff all that up. Put it all back together. You should be good as new. Or you could just order a new battery and you'll also be good as new. But if you order a new battery and you're still not getting contact, your major problem is going to be these contact points. You got your three contact points. You're going to want to scuff those real good. Don't do it so hard where you're going to break the thing. But just run your razor back and forth to allow contact on your new battery. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Have a good day.